juicy, 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 juicy. Hey, what is up, cook people of the world wide web? Juicy here, coming to y'all with their product review from a company called Fitville. I am so excited about this product here because. Uh, I have been looking for the right shoe. Um, I am a Pisces and I googled a lot of things that would happen. <laughs> I know some of y'all may not be astrom astronomers. <laughs> I know some of y'all may not be into uh, signs and things like that, but I am. So I googled a lot about my sign and what you know, L's us, what our ailments are and things like that. Or, you know, so one thing I read is that down the line, our feet, we start having issues with our feet. So I'm so excited. Fitville contacted me to try out their shoes because these shoes don't just, they're not just exercising shoes. These shoes are for an everyday shoe. It is also for different types of, um, it says here is the top 10. Here is a top 10 of some of the most common uh, foot problems. So flat feet, plantar fasciitis, heel spurs. We got hammer toes and mullet toes, bunions, corns and calluses blisters, ingrown toenail, um, the ball of your feet cut, hurt, and this one here I'm just going to bring up closer. So this is not just for like an exercising shoe. And then it also gives you, you know, some things that you could do to help your feet or take better care of your feet by um, taking nightly hot foot bath before bed make sure you get regular uh foot massages and then scrubbing your heels with a pumice stone so you know making sure you stretch and strengthen your feet pedicures hot stone treatment and you know they give you um things that you could do to help your feet um and also tells you how they're Footwear is designed, how they have a, a wide toe box and the construction of the shoe, the non-slip sole, high instep, stability and support. A shock absorb pad is made to fit and they pretty much break down how the shoe is made. And then everyone's testimony. And then just more information on their shoes. And like I say, this is not an exercising shoe. It is an everyday shoe. And I just love fit. I, um, the shoes I got are called the Fitville High Top Rebound Core. And I got them in a women's 11 and a half EW. They have two different widths. They have a a wide width and like an extra wide width. I think that's what I got, the extra wide width because I wasn't sure. So they come like this in their own dust bag. They are pretty much like any other uh, thick sole high top shoe that's out um, in style wise. Cause I can't wait to walk around in these shoes. I've already tried them on and I think I should have got a smaller size. Oh. I think it's just glue. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was just glue. I should have got it in an 11 regular wide because I did get extra wide because I wasn't sure if it was going to um, fit the, the front part because I do have wide feet. I think these are cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm going to try these out today. Yesterday I ran some errands and I had on the shoes that I normally wear, which are my uh, Converse, high top Converse, but I'm not flat footed and Converse has a very flat sole. It doesn't really have any arch support. So I can't wait to try these out. When I'm ripping and running around doing errand work, I normally wear these shoes. They are a little dirty because I wear them all the time, but I wear these shoes. And then when I'm uh, exercising, I wear these shoes, right? So in trying out these shoes, I did everything that I would normally do when I uh, wear my other shoes, go run some errands, I walk through Sam's, I did some Target stuff, you know, just ripping and running like I normally do. When I'm, when I'm done with the first shoe that I showed y'all, at the end of the day, so many things hurt. <laughs> my feet, my legs, my back, all of that hurts because um, as you can tell, this shoe doesn't have much support in it at all. There's no cushion in the sole. There, it's just a pretty flat shoe. And walking around and standing around in, you know, those stores and things like that and lines and stuff, it is brutal on my feet and my back. As well as when I, when I work out with my workout shoe I don't get as much problems um as I would do when I'm you know walking and things like that but these are my exercising shoes and you know I want a nice shoe to work or walk on an everyday basis <laughs> and these shoes here as y'all see I did try these out for a couple of days to give y'all uh, honest review on these shoes and these shoes are good I really like these shoes not just because of the style of it but because of the function of it um, it did take me like I said a couple of days to uh, break these shoes in so the first day it was a little mm, they were okay but then once I wore them the next couple of days my foot started to mold into the shoe and these feel good these feel really good on my feet these make my this doesn't make my feet hurt doesn't make my legs hurt doesn't make my back hurt um when i'm walking and standing in lines and things like that the only con i have about this shoe and it's my fault so i don't blame the company or anything but they had an option to um get like the regular wide width or extra wide I chose the extra wide because I wasn't sure how wide this shoe was going to be in the front because, you know, I have wide, I have wide feet. My feet are kind of like, <laughs> I got them duck feet because they are narrow at the ankle part and then they spread out, you know, with a toe 
toes are. So I would love to have um, a shoe that does that and this shoe does it. But I think I should have went with the regular width and not the extra width because it is so much room. Like it's so much room in the toe part area that when I'm driving, I can't feel my pedal when I'm driving, my toes are just, you know, free moving and everything like that. It just feels weird that I couldn't feel my pedal as I drove. So that is, that is my only con is that I should have got in regular width, regular wide width and not an extra wide. <laughs> and so, yeah. Thank you to Fitville for letting me try out some shoes. I mean, there is no, I have no issues, no problems with this shoe. Um, like, yeah, I took these out. I took these baby out for a walk. Great. Um, I'm, I got to get used to this heel part because, like I said, I'm usually usually wearing shoes that don't have a heel that's pretty flat at the bottom. So I have to get used to this extra. Um, this extra heel when I'm walking because it feels like I'm on stilts. But other than that, these shoes are... Yeah, I, I really like them. I really like them. So, yeah. Hey. They look pretty much like the regular, like every other fancy type shoe. Like, that's out with the thick, chunky heel and things like that. Very comfortable. Like I said, I have no issues with that. The only con was the con that I brought upon myself. <laughs> but, yeah. I would say thank you again to Fitville. Thank you to Fitville for um, asking me to try out a pair of their shoes. I will have all the information down in the description box below for the shoes. If I have a coupon code as well, I'll put that up. Y'all know somewhere up here and yeah.